I don't believe there's any relationship that is any more important uh, than the bilateral relationship between China and the United States today. They're the, the world's two largest economies. Uh, China is uh, clearly a global economic superpower uh, and, and not yet a military superpower. Uh, she could supposedly, I, I suppose, become one. Uh, so what kind of policy should we have? Well, I think we need to continue a policy of engagement with China. That's very important to us, and that's very important to China. We should, there are many areas where we can cooperate. We can cooperate on regional stability. We can cooperate on energy security. We can cooperate uh, on, uh, on economic matters, trade, uh, do a better job uh, with respect to the currency issue in China and so forth. There are a lot of areas where we can cooperate, and it will be in the interest of both countries. There are areas where we're going to have tensions. Uh, you mentioned some of them, but there are others. Tibet, Taiwan, uh, human rights is going to continue to be a, a problem. In those areas, we have to manage the differences. We, we're not going to give up on our principles and values. So we need to cooperate uh, with China where we can and manage the differences where we can. I don't question for one minute uh, anything uh, that, that our leaders would say today about cyber attacks directed toward the United States. And China's not the only violator. But China is to be, uh, in my view, taken to task, if you will, about cyber, uh, about, about efforts in, in, uh, in cyber uh, warfare, if you will. Uh, it's coming from Iran, too. It's coming from all over. Now, you know, we, that, that's a real threat to the uh, national interests of the United States. So I think, the, <laughs> I think we need to let them know that we, uh, we know about this and we're going to deal with it. And we have the capacity and the capability of dealing with it. It could very well be uh, a, a quite, a, quite a substantial test of the U.S.-China relationship because the fact of the matter is China is the only country that has any influence on, on North Korea. And uh, I don't believe, for one, having dealt with Chinese uh, leaders uh, during the time that I was Treasury Secretary and Secretary of State, I don't think that the Chinese want to see a nuclear conflagration on the Korean Peninsula. I don't want, think the Chinese like it when North Korea goes out here and tests these uh, nuclear weapons. In fact, now we've gotten to the point uh, pretty much where China uh, condemns those things publicly. Now that's progress. Uh, but what we need is, uh, is for the Chinese to join with us and the rest of the uh, uh, UN Security Council in, in making it clear to the North Koreans through punitive sanctions, and I mean really substantial sanctions, that that kind of behavior can't continue. The military, there, there's really not a, an easy military solution to the problem of North Korea when they've got that huge army poised just uh, 30 miles from so downtown Seoul and they've got their nuclear weapons and so forth. But I think that, uh, I think that a, poly, a, a bit more muscular approach to North Korea is, uh, is not uncalled for. I mean, it can be uh, diplomatic, economic, and, uh, and political, but it needs to be ratcheted up or we could end up uh, finding ourselves with a real problem with, with uh, that regime. They're a very flaky regime, but nobody and nobody has any influence on them except the Chinese. It's almost incomprehensible that you'd have these two nations that have gone to war before, uh, the two biggest uh, uh, countries in the Pacific, at each other's throats over a bunch of rocks somewhere. That's the kind of thing that, can, that should be handled diplomatically and politically, and it seems to me that it could be. Get together, and, uh, and, and negotiate it out in a way that, uh, that both parties can live with. It should not be an all or nothing type of situation. And maybe there needs to be some, uh, some extensive mediation on the part of some other countries. I mean, 
What's wrong with the uh, What's wrong with uh, taking a look at that in the, in the UN or in some other multilateral body? 